Hey folks, welcome back to Follity, your go-to channel for all things fabulous and royal. Today we've got some exciting news from Buckingham Palace. The Duchess of Cambridge, Kate Middleton, recently graced a state banquet, and guess what? She added another stunning tiara to her collection. Let's dive into the details. The event, part of the state visit hosting the President of the Republic of Korea, Yoon Suk Yo and First Lady Kim Keon Hee was attended by royalty, including King Charles, Queen Camilla, Prince William, and around 170 guests. But the spotlight was on Princess Kate and her surprise style moment. Drum roll, please. Kate donned the exquisite Strathmore Rose tiara, making its debut after nearly nine decades. This floral headpiece, part of the Queen Mother's collection, was a wedding present, and Kate is only the second person to wear it publicly. Talk about making history. Now let's talk fashion. Kate paired the tiara with a white Jenny Packham dress adorned with gold embellishments. And those earrings? They belong to none other than Queen Elizabeth herself. Classy move, Kate. But this isn't just about fashion. It's about symbolism, too. Lauren Keener, founder of The Court Jeweler, suggests that Kate's choice reflects her desire to emulate the Queen Mother's royal role, maintaining a beautiful continuity. It seems that Kate, with a nod from King Charles, chose to wear the tiara exactly a hundred years after the Queen Mother received it. Now let's take a trip down memory lane. Kate has previously flaunted three other royal tiaras, starting with the Cartier Halo tiara on her wedding day in 2011. She's also rocked the Lotus Flower tiara on various occasions, showcasing her elegant style. But why the Strathmore Rose tiara this time? Well, it's a beautiful tribute to King Charles' grandmother, the Queen Mother. The King, famously close to her, even referred to Kate as his beloved daughter-in-law, a touching connection indeed. Moving on to the banquet itself, King Charles delivered a speech, welcoming guests in Korean and praising Korea's influence on pop culture. He even mentioned K-pop sensation Blackpink and celebrated the cultural exchange between the two nations. And here's a royal first glasses featuring King Charles's royal cipher at the head table. Quite a historical moment. That's a wrap for today's Royal Update on Follity. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more regal content, and let us know in the comments which tiara you think Princess Kate should wear next. Until next time, stay fabulous.